So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about landing five to 10 to maybe even 15 to 20 clients for your social media marketing agency. And you know, the last few weeks, I have actually only really discussed how to get the first client, how to onboard the first client, how to you know pitch that first client and get the first client on board for your social media marketing agency. It's been very, very beginner focused. So in this video, I want to talk about you know how to actually expand on that, how to get the second client, the third client, how to scale this sort of one client agency into an actual million pound or million dollar empire. And uh, let's just stick with the five to 10 client mark for now, just for the sake of this video. The first thing you need to remember or to apply and you know to tweak if you actually want to scale to five to 10 clients a month is you need to be very, very sales focused. Okay, we've all heard the saying where attention goes, energy flows, meaning that you know if you only spend an hour a week prospecting or reaching out to uh, new potential clients, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually land five to 10 new clients a month, okay? But if you are completely sales focused, you know, you're constantly doing outreach, you're constantly in contact with new clients, you're constantly in front of uh, different types of business owners, you know, it's gonna be much, much easier to get five to 10 new clients a month, okay? So first thing you need to do is be very, very sales focused. Second thing you need to remember is the more time you spend on the business, um, doing the day-to-day -day tasks, you know, creating graphics for your clients or, you know, contacting the clients that you've already got, the less time you'll have to actually, you know, spend on getting new clients and doing client outreach, etc. With that said, you know, it's a very fine line. So you do need to realize that um, the lifetime value of a client and getting results for a client is very, very important. You know, if you're landing five clients a month, but you're losing four clients a month, your business is basically broken. And that is definitely something that you need to sort out right away. Okay, so even though I do think that you should be focusing on the sales and getting new clients in, that does not mean that the results of the clients you've got needs to suffer, meaning you need to basically build out a team to do the results for you, okay? Now, this does not necessarily have to be outsourcing to some uh, you know, a virtual assistant in a third world country, okay? You need to be very, very quality focused as well. You need to build out a quality team, a team of people that can get great, great results, Okay, but basically build out a team so that you are not working in the business, but you're working on expanding the business. Okay, you're working on getting new clients through the door. And then when you actually get the clients, you've got a team in place that can do the work on your behalf. Okay, that for someone who is just starting out, that could feel a bit daunting, you know, it could feel a bit um, far fetched, etc. But like you can just get freelancers to do the job for you, okay? And then actually work with these freelancers, maybe even train the freelancers to get better results as well. And you can find freelancers like this on upwork.com, peoplepowerhour.com, uh, guru.com is, is sort of popping up everywhere nowadays as well. But even your own, uh, you know, if, you, if you've got like a personal brand or if you're active on social media, just put up a post on Instagram story saying, listen, um, you know, I need a media buyer. I need someone to create graphics for me. You know, is, is there any type of uh, collaboration we can get going here? And uh, let's say you get a client for a thousand a month and you are, have a media buyer that wants to do the work for you, you know, so to set up all the ads for 200 a month, you are basically pocketing 800 a month passively and you've got all the time in the world now to find the second, the third, the fourth client, okay? So like I said, sales focused, you need to build a team, and the first thing you need to realize is you need to constantly follow up with every single person you talk to, okay? So let's say, like, you all, you all know my preferred methods of client outreach are uh, social, uh, freelancer websites, so upwork.com, peoplebethour.com, freelancer.com. Um, I've, I've recently created a video on Groupon, you know, how you can actually leverage Groupon to get clients. Um, I'm a big fan of Facebook outreach, LinkedIn outreach. So if you're constantly doing that every single day, you are talking to a ton of different clients and potential uh, prospects, etc. But if they say no the first time, that doesn't mean that a month you know later or a month down the line, they're not you know interested again. You know what I mean? What I mean to say is, let's say for example, you're getting a client on Upwork.com, and you know, especially with the freelance website, you know, you're basically a number, 
and uh, you know more often than not they'll contact you saying they're interested or they'll contact you saying you know i'm inviting you to this job for a social media marketing and you'll end up going with someone else you know it's just it's an enormous game at the end of the day for them as well so um you know chances are they will pick someone else over you now who's to say that you know you can't contact that client in a month's time and ask them you know are you happy with the current um social media agency that's working for you or or go out you know and ch actually check their website themselves you know like type uh, the, the name of the website uh, look them up you know see what they're doing what they're up to look at the ads and just contact the business owner say listen um i've had a look at your social media website i've had a look at your facebook page your uh, facebook ads etc and listen you know i understand that you're working with a different agency now but you are leaving money on the table by doing it this way okay the person who is running it now is doing this wrong that wrong and if i was running the, the ads i'll be doing this this and this okay now you know if you if you really believe that you can do a better job i think it's in your right to actually mention that to the business owner okay you owe it to the business owner to just be honest and upfront and explain to them that you know the way it's going now it won't get them the return on investment that they are hoping for okay and that you know that's not to say that he will then quit the agency and then you know come to you but you know just by building up that authority building up that rapport with other people you know in the end there will be clients that come to you like four months later saying okay um you know we've been in contact these last few months you've given me a lot of value you know i'm, I'm willing to to take you on now or your agency on now as um, you know for someone to do my social media etc okay but stuff like this only happens if you are constantly on offense okay you can never reach out to enough clients so like i said you know i've mentioned my out outreach methods uh, facebook group on freelancer websites linkedin email you know if you're constantly covering all those uh, all those bases you know if you're constantly reaching out to all these clients who's to say that you can't land five clients in the next month you know, it's definitely possible there's enough businesses out there you know there's enough there for everyone to get a piece of the pie why can't you land five clients in the next month okay you just need to be constantly reaching out on offense like i said build a team to do the work so you can focus solely on the client outreach and then basically what you need to do is just work out the mats okay so if you reach out to um let's say you reach out to 100 business owners of those 100 business owners you get uh, 10 meetings of the 10 meetings you land one client okay then you know the numbers of what you need to do to land one client now if you want to land five clients you just need to 5x all those numbers so if you're doing an hour of outreach a day then if you want if you really truly want five uh, five clients and you can land one client with an hour a day then just do five hours a day you know if you really want it just go for it do five hours of outreach every single day if you know working with those mats obviously and then get those 50 meetings and then land those five clients and then you'll notice that over time you'll get better at those meetings and you won't land uh, one in ten you'll land four in ten or five in ten and that's how you'll you know because of the experience because of it because of you're constantly doing it over and over again you will land those five clients okay guys so that is all i have got for today like i said be sales focused build out a team just constantly follow up and do outreach and then the last one you know do the maths actually work out how many people you need to uh, reach out to on average to land the amount of clients that you want if you got something out of this make sure you leave a comment and like this video if you want to actually know what to say on this on the meetings and if you want to know all about like the the scripts etc then i definitely recommend getting lifestyle design mastery which is my program on basically how to start a social media marketing agency build it up and live life on your own terms, live the laptop lifestyle, etc. It's all linked in the description box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.